Hello, buddy, and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. Yay! As you just saw there, today we are making a jump scare device. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I want to say a massive. <laughs> So I want to say a massive thank you to Phoenix, Cracker. Gupta, I hope I pronounced your name right, Ben's World, and The Devil's Thing for suggesting this awesome idea. Now of course, original design credit does go to Mumbo Jumbo, I'll put a link to his video in the description below. But no, I haven't copied him block for block, as you're about to see, there are some significant changes. Now the first big difference is in the sound. Now the Enderman sound is quite scary on its own, but I wanted to add a little bit more depth to it, that's why I added the thunder noise, like this and the dragon growl like that. Now all three together, they make quite a horrible noise like this. So when we press this button, it doesn't just scare us with the armor stands, it scares us with that horrible noise. <laughs> Another great thing about this design is that it's reusable. So it doesn't just break and then we have to reset it, no, it resets itself. Press the button, finished, press the button again, and we can keep using it as many times as we like. Now taking a quick look at the redstone, as you can see it is very, very small. Now it might look very complicated to some of you with the command blocks, but honestly it's really, really easy. When I'll show you how to make it, you'll realise how easy this build is. Okay, so now you've seen the design, let's get on with this tutorial. So for this truly terrifying build, you're going to need one sticky piston, one repeater, five redstone dust, one redstone torch, three dispensers, two packed ice, seven obsidian, one door, two blocks of redstone to go on, seven command blocks, one chest plate, one sword, one skull of your choosing, and then hovering blocks you need for decoration. Now just before we do any of the redstone or place down any blocks, we just gotta check a few things. So firstly, just go into your settings, like this, and under game, which we should be on already, just check that you have coordinates on, that will help us later. And down here, that just make sure that your command blocks are enabled. Okay? Now, the next thing is a little bit trickier. Now, this jump scare device only works if it is facing south. I know. That's a bit weird. <laughs> Basically, it's because this command block here, which summons our armor stand, will only summon an armor stand facing toward the south. You cannot rotate it. You can in Java, but in Bedrock Edition, you can't do that. So unfortunately, this device is going to be facing south, or it's going to look really odd because your armor stand is going to come out sideways or something like that. So just make sure you're facing toward the south with your door. Now to make sure you are facing south, what you have to do is just go like this. Press slash, then press summon, sorry, press, type summon, <laughs> then armor, underscore, stand, like that, and then enter. And you can see it is facing this way. So that way is south. So that doorway should be toward the north and our slime block and everything should be facing toward the south. I hope that makes sense. Okay, to start this build, we need to place down a three by three square like this with one block at the top. Now this block is where our door is going to go. So place a door like this. Okay, so all of our redstone is going to be behind that door. Okay, then we can place a temporary block here, but then just have some blocks surrounding our door, and on this side as well. One, two, three. And I like just to place some stairs like that. Then a button here. Out the back, we need to grab some packed ice, and we need to place it like this. One and two. Then grab some temporary blocks. One, two, and three, like that, in an L or a backwards L, <laughs> then a sticky piston here, and a slime block here. And we can remove those blocks, like that. Okay, the next thing you want to do is come around the back here and place a decoration block here. I'm going to be using black concrete, but you can use pretty much whatever block you want. Then on top of that black concrete, we need a repeater, like that. In front of that repeater, we need an obsidian, like this, and another piece of obsidian here. Then a block here. And on all three of these, we need dust. One, two, and three. And on this side of this sticky piston, we need a redstone torch. 
Now the next thing we need to do, we need to grab some command blocks. So all we need to do is press slash or T and then press slash. So just open up your command line and press slash give then at P then write command underscore block like that. So slash give at P command underscore block and then go. And as you can see, we have our command block and we need to place three of them like this. One, two, and three. Now in our first command block here, these are gonna be your sounds by the way. We need to put this command in. Play sound, all one word, then space, mob dot ender dragon dot whoop not comma dot growl then at p like that our next one we need to put in the command play sound ambient dot weather dot lightning it's going to press this so i can see more of it that's better dot impact then space and at and p so play sound that is the sound and that's who we're playing it to so the closest player and then our last command block is this one and in this one we want play sound you can see a pattern here <laughs> then mob dot enderman like that dot death space at p okay so now when we press this button we should have that horrifying sound and our piston extending <laughs> beautiful okay the next thing you want to do is come around the back here to the left and firstly you place a block here then a block here and one to the right remove this block and this one and then we need a command block here and in this command block we need this command so summon like that then armor underscore stand with no spaces and then we need the coordinates so the coordinates are these coordinates here so when you stand on this packed ice the coordinates in your top left now so 27 13 minus 6 so 27 13 minus 6 27 13 minus 6 of course your coordinates are going to be different from mine <laughs> So when we place now down some redstone dust like this and here, as you can see, we have our armor stand. So press the button and it should get shot out like it does. Now the next thing we need to do can look a little bit confusing, but honestly, it really isn't that hard. So firstly, we need to place a block here. And then we need a dispenser facing toward the front and then a dispenser here and a dispenser here facing toward the middle like that and we can remove that block and then we need to grab a command block and place it here now in this command block we need to put the command clone okay and then we need to grab the coordinates of that dispenser there so what I'm going to do is just going to place a block here and stand on it and these are the coordinates of where the dispenser is going to be so 26 15 minus 5 26 15 minus 5 so 26 15 minus 5 of course yours is going to be different and then you need to write it again 26 15 minus 5 so now that's going to be cloning whatever is in this little block here so we're going to place back our dispenser and then we need to go down here and we need to place a block here and one down. Remove this block and stand here on this block. Now we need to grab the coordinates of this block here. So 26, 12, minus 6 in my case. Again, yours is going to be different. So 26, 12, minus 6. And we need to write it here. So 26, 12, minus 6. Then we need to change this block type from impulse to repeat. And we need to change this redstone line to always active. So hopefully, as you can see there, our dispenser is now copied from here to here, as we can see. So at the moment, our dispenser is empty. But as soon as I put an item in here, 
So for example, our wither skull, skull. I look in here, and as you can see, there is our wither skull. And we need to do this for two more times. So now we need to clone this one to be here. So again, we go down here, we place down a command block, we do the line clone. Then we need to grab the coordinates of this dispenser here. So I'm just going to place a block like, whoopsie, <laughs> block like this and stand on it. So 26, 15, minus 6, 26, 15, minus 6, 26, 15, minus 6, like that. And then repeat it. And then we need the coordinates of where we want it to go. So I'm going to place the dispenser back. Whoops. And I want our dispenser to be top of this block. So I want to stand here. So 26, 13, minus 6. Thirteen minus six, like that. Then I need to change this, this, <laughs> need to change this to repeat, and this to always active, like that. And you can see we have our second dispenser, and in this dispenser we can place our chest plate. And then lastly, we need to do it for this dispenser here. So just place a temporary block here, remove it, and stand like this. So twenty six fifteen minus seven. So clone 26, is it 15 minus 7? And then repeat it. Okay, and then we need the coordinates of where we want that dispenser to be. Now I want that dispenser to be here, so I need to place a temporary block here and one here, move that block, and I need to stand here. So 27 minus 12 minus 7. like that. Then need to put this into repeat, sorry, and always active. Oh, I say no blocks found, but that's because I haven't placed my dispenser back. So remember, I needed to face it this way, as you can see. And then we have our sword in there. So no matter what, if we dispense this, you can see it just makes another one. So that's our endless dispensers all done. And even if we try and break them, they're just going to come back. Now, surprisingly, that's everything completely done. You're all finished. So all you have to do now is do some decoration. Just make sure there's no blocks touching that slime block, which are not immovable. Okay, then we can grab obsidian and place it like this. One and two. And here, some decoration blocks like this. Then obsidian here here, and here. And now we can just press this button to reset it, like that, and now it's ready. So when we press this button, there we are, we have our jump scare. And press the button again, <laughs> one more, <laughs> no, 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 not again. <laughs> but sadly, this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one and I'll see you later. Bye.